it does look. Beyond that. So you want to toast your buns till you get all this lining, because um, it's always nice to have a nice crispy bun, otherwise your bun gets all soggy, as and when you add all the like toppings and stuff to it. So that's why we toast our bun. We toast the bottom side of the bun as well, to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. So you get these nice little lines from where you toasted it, if you toast it on a griddle. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more firmity down the bottom, which is a lot better when you start layering up the burger. So guys, I've slightly pressed this because they usually come a little bit thicker than that, but it depends on the cooking process, whether you want to fast or slow. Um, and generally tonight we want to cook them for about three or four minutes each side really, depending on how well you really want them. Uh, we set them at the shop doing a me at well, medium well rather than actual medium because it's just due to the fact that burgers are different than steaks due to the fat strains in them. They cook at a different time. So yeah, we're just gonna put them on a hot heat and it should be crispy. Satisfying. So this is how I dress my burger. As you can see, we toasted the bottom, which has got some nice lining. We've also toasted the middle and the top half of the bun. So first of all, we start with a little bit of lettuce to kind of give the burger a little bit of bushiness. You then go for your red onion. So just dot that around, depending on how much you would like. And then, well, see my bosses will moan because sometimes we put a tomato on the top, but I like mine on the bottom. And that's just, that's self perspect. Um, so there's two mayos which I'm gonna use. So this one is the bacon mayo. Um, which is basically in the Picasso burger. Um, so if you guys don't know, that comes with bacon, two slices of bacon usually, with bacon jam and bacon mayo, um, which is the, which is the really, well, it's a really nice burger and also it's probably one of our best sellers. So this is the bacon jam, which is famously made by Nuno, our head chef, who redesigned the recipe uh, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, then also you go on with your gherkins, which is pretty decent. And then to be fair guys, after this, you kind of can mix it up a little bit. So we've got jalapenos here, which came in the kit. Um, so all these kits are just 20 pound guys. So you get four burgers, uh, it comes with all the sides and stuff like that. Apart from the bacon jam, bacon mayo, that uh, was extra. So I think it's like an extra four pounds. So that's basically a pound per person, which is quite cheap. See, so yeah, if you're like me, you like a massive mixed up burger. So I'm now gonna add a little bit of burger sauce on there. So just smother that round. And then you get a bit of barbecue which is also made by us, the same as the burger sauce and pretty much all the sauces. And then we get these caramelized onions. Now these are beautiful things. Now I normally microwave these for about 15, 20 seconds because I like having a nice warm onion. Um, some, I mean, some people have them cold, but it's completely up to you. So that is how I would design my burger. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the end results in a few minutes. So guys, I finished my burgers off in the oven just to make sure that the cheese melts properly and also so it stops them from burning as well because I found out that the griddle pan likes it. This is my finished burger. As you can see, all the layers are in there and it looks beautiful. 